Okay, so we're told a study was conducted to investigate the claim that larger dogs are easier to train, I guess, than the smaller dogs. In the study, 45% of the dogs involved were large. Okay, so we have 45% large. So underline 45. 60% of the dogs passed the class. Okay, records indicate that 40% of the dogs in the classes were small and passed the course. So they said complete the following hypothetical 1,000 two-way table. So hypothetical two, a uh, 1,000 two-way table. That just means that let's hypothetically imagine. Well, let's imagine, excuse me, that there are 1,000 people in the study, 1,000 dogs in this case. That's going to go here, the totals. Now, we can use our percentages to figure things out. This 45% of the dogs involved in the cases were large. So here's our large column right here, right? And the total is 45% of 1,000. That's 450. And then you can add up the difference to get 550 for the number of small dogs. Okay. 60% of the dogs passed the class. So where's our passing? So here's pass. This is this column right here. And the total pass would have to go in this spot right there. So 60% passed. So 600 passed. Oh, 400 did not. Four dogs. And then 40% of the dogs in the classes were small and passed the course. That's our intersection probability because we have the word and in there, right? Small and passed the course. So here's small and here's passed. They're intersecting right here. That's an intersection, okay? And it usually has a symbol like this. So passed and they're small. That's 40%, 400. So 200 large dogs passed, 400 as to 600, and then we fill in our missing gaps here. 200, 200 plus 250 is 450. That checks out. And then finally, 400 plus something is 550. That's 150, right? Okay, so we fill that in. And now we have our table filled out. Then we go to B. Estimate the probability that a dog selected at random from those enrolled in the classes passed the course. So out of all the dogs that are enrolled, enrolled, in, that means trying out the course, um, has passed. Okay, well... That's, we have it right here, 600, they tell us that, 60% out of 1,000, so 600 out of 1,000 equals 60%. So I'm estimating it's 60%. If the dog was a large dog, so that's our condition, they are large, what is the probability that this, this dog passed the course? So our large dog, dog row is right here. That's our given. And there are 450 of them. Okay. And 200 passed the course. So 200 out of 450, okay, well, that looks like less than half. So 200, what well, is less than half, divided by 450 is 0.44 repeating. So it's about, let's say, 44%, 44.4% of the large dogs passed. If the dog is a small dog, what is the probability of passing? Okay, so there are 550 small dogs, right? That's this row right here. We're dealing with those numbers. And 400 out of 550 passed. And that's definitely bigger than one half. So I'm going to find out exactly what that is. Now 400 divided by 550. Do it again. I, I typed in 40. 400 divided by 550. 72.7%. Now, 72.7%. When I typed this out, I think I left out the last question. But I should ask also... Um, is the claim true, right? Is this claim true? And the answer is no, right? And you can explain why by saying that less, uh, less large dogs were less likely to pass than small dogs. And you can say because only 44.4% of the large dogs passed while 72.7% of the small dogs passed, something like that. Make sure you reference the numbers. All right, hope this helps.